woke up this morning and I discovered that I couldn't type on my phone. And this could be your case. You're trying to type something on your WhatsApp, on your phone, in different apps, using your phone keyboard, but you can't type. You try to copy or you try to copy a message to paste on your WhatsApp. You could not copy the message to paste. Each time you try pasting, your phone goes blank. Or you try copying a content from anywhere, any app on your phone. And the moment you copy that content, your phone goes blank. This was my experience this morning. And for you to be watching this video, it's your experience too. So I'm going to guide you on how to resolve the copying and paste issue on any app on your phone and how to resolve your keyboard problem, inability to type using your keyboard, all right? More especially if you're using a Samsung phone. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing I'll advise you to do is to update your Samsung software. Okay, so the first thing, we'll go to setting. So I'll click on the setting icon and we'll scroll down. You see software updates. Make sure your software is up to date. That's the first thing you have to do. Okay, so you click on download and install. When you click on download and install, if there are any updates, it will inform you. If your, subdate, if your software is updated already, it will let you know. So they told me your software is up to date. Now, once you've checked that, this, this is like a checklist. So that's the first thing to check. Checklist number one, done. Now, if you once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to clear your WhatsApp storage. So come to WhatsApp, quickly go to the three burger, um, hamburger at the top, click on setting, then you go to storage and data. On storage and data, you see where they say manage storage. Click on manage storage. All right, you will see your storage information. Then all you need to do is to tap on this place that is saying 41 gig free, 1.2 gig. So when you tap there, it's supposed to give you, though I've already cleared my storage, but on your own case, at the top of this managed storage, you see the information telling you the total number of storage that you've been used, that you've used. Mine is not showing because I cleared storage before making this video because I encountered the issue. That's why I'm sharing it to you. When you open this page, you're going to see an option where they are telling you about your storage. All right, 400 and this used, 5,000 and this used. Now, all you need to do is to click on that option and do what? <clears throat> and clear your storage by selecting all the files and clear it off. I just cleared my, and that's why the option to clear storage is not here. But please do that for yourself. You're going to see this line here will read green almost to the end and tell you 5,000, 6,000 files and your storage has been used. All right. Okay. So that is how to do it. So once you've checked that list, the next thing you need to do is to update your WhatsApp. So quickly go to your Play Store and in case because doing this you can't use your keyboard when you try typing your keyboard is not allowing you to type so all you need to do is to click on this voice icon at the top by the right the microphone voice icon tap on it you see it brings out the apps option then you do what go ahead and update whatsapp I've already updated my that's why you are seeing the option open but in your own you see the option update so click on update and update your app that is the third thing you need to do the next thing you need to do you need to clear your cache on whatsapp so how do you clear cache on whatsapp you go to your setting your soft touch will be working but your keyboard will not be working you go to setting and you scroll down you see where they say apps click on apps then select the app you want to clear your cache. So you are going to clear your cache on your WhatsApp app and also on your browser or the browser you are using, more especially Chrome. 
So you select the app, you want to click cache on, for example, if it's on WhatsApp, you click on WhatsApp, then you, you scroll and select storage. On storage, you can see cache here. All you need to do is to click on this button saying clear cache below by the right and your cache will be clear. Do this also for the browser or the browsers you're using because there could be some bugs there causing the conflict on your phone. Now, the third thing you need to do is to update your Samsung keyboard. Update your Samsung keyboard. How do you update your Samsung keyboard? How do you update your Samsung keyboard? So what you need to do is to come to setting. When you come to setting, you click on software updates. Okay, no, not here. So you, you type um, Samsung, you search for Samsung keyboard. When you go to setting, use the search button, type Samsung keyboard, it comes up, you click on it. When you click on it, you scroll down. Then you see where they say reset to default setting. Click on reset to default setting and do what? Reset your Samsung keyboard. That is the first thing you have to do. Then how do you update the app? How do you update the app? You need to look for your Samsung, your Galaxy store. All right. You need to search for your Galaxy store. Okay. So you need to search for your Galaxy store. So this is Galaxy store. In your setting, you search for Galaxy store. So this is Galaxy store. You tap on it. When you tap on it, you scroll down and look for apps details in store. You click there. It's going to show you the Galaxy. You may have to update or connect whatever instruction is giving you. Please proceed with it. And when you're done, this is the Galaxy store. Search for Samsung. Search for Samsung keyboard. Then you click on it. It shows you the Samsung keyboard. By the right, you're going to see a round circle. All you need to do is to tap on that circle so that it's going to update. Okay, and make sure you also update your Samsung browser. Every other thing, just leave it the way it is. All right, so once you've done this, the next thing you need to do is to uninstall any keyboard that is on your phone. Uninstall all the keyboards on your phone and let it be only Samsung keyboard that is working more especially if you're using grammarly uninstall it because the conflict now is the updated version of samson is having conflict with grammarly all right so uninstall your grammarly but not to worry i'll show you how you can use your grammarly on your samson keyboard all right so the, the next thing is uninstall all the keyboard that you installed on your phone including grammarly all right then I've already talked about resetting your Samsung keyboard, um, keyboard. You reset that. I spoke about that. Then the last but not the least. Now, when you've done all this, you are to do what? Restart your phone. Restart your phone. All right. After restarting your phone, you go back and try to type. All right. Try to type anywhere on your, on any app on your phone. Now, when you try to tap, type your the new keyboard comes up like this all right so when the new keyboard comes up like this these three hamburger by the right on the keyboard tap on it then you see where they say grammarly but make sure that you're using this on a let's say i want to type on whatsapp all right let's say i'm trying to type on whatsapp and this is me trying to type all right, so this is me trying to type. So the three lines at the top, this is me. 
So you see this three dot hamburger at the top of your keyboard. You click on it. You go back. Click on it. You will see Grammarly. So click on the Grammarly and connect your Grammarly account. Already, you already have a Grammarly account. Connect it via cloud. Don't download the app. Connect it via cloud. So that when you're typing and you need some correction, all you need to do is to come here and click on Grammarly. And Grammarly helps you with the correction. And you just have to practice enough to enjoy the new feature of the Samsung keyboard. So hope this has helped you. If you gain value from this video, do well to click on the thumbs up, like this video. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. Subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notification because you'll be gaining a lot of information on how to build your business online and how to also grow and grow your business online through your sales and marketing processes and quite a whole lot of strategies you can use, strategies and tools that will help you grow online. So see you in our next video and do well to share this to help a friend. Thank you.